It all started with this vintage style cabinet. I love the details on the doors and the great chunky hardware, but I hate the color. So obviously I'm going to paint it. I first take off the hardware. And then when I did that, the plastic doors actually came off of, off of the backs because it was this cheap press board material. Once I got the doors off, I taped off areas and I went to work priming it with Rust-Oleum Gray Primer. I like to use the water mister bottle just because it helps the paint flow and get into nooks and crannies better. And I, it's very hot in my shed. I do not have air conditioning, so I have to keep it wet so the paint will keep working well. Now I'm layering doing three colors. All this paint is chalk paint from Walmart. It's called Waverly Chalk Paint. It's in a, this one is in a yellow, a coral, and I'm also doing a dark pink. When it's time to blend the colors together, I'm using this zebra round tipped brush. I don't, you don't wanna use the same brushes with the colors on them because you're trying to go for an ombre effect without blending all your colors together at the same time. Once my colors had dried, my final step was to take this cream color and go over the whole piece. I use my water spritzer, wet the white after I apply it, and then take a rag and wipe it out and wipe it into the paint that's already there. This just adds an additional um, fun dimension and also softens the colors to where it just looks really nice. Step that I didn't show was the top. I did lightly scuff sand the top, paint it dark brown, and then sealed it with a clear latex. I also sealed the whole piece with Rust-Oleum's clear latex in gloss, and it gives it a beautiful shiny finish. I'm super thrilled with how this piece turns out. I hope you like it. 